What's going on? It's Brennan Gennetti from the Spotify playlist, Songs Brennan's Bumping. I'm super excited to have my first interviewee on my YouTube channel, Paige Davis. She's 18 out of Pepperell, Massachusetts. Yep, that's the town. And she is a wonderful country singer. How Thank are you, you, Paige? I'm good. How are you? I'm, I'm super great. So before we get into this interview, we met in like the funniest way possible. Um, but <laughs> let's just rewind on <laughs> a that. A couple times, actually. Yeah, yeah, like a couple times in the same week. Um, so you're a big Taylor Swift fan, right? Yeah, she's my favorite out of oh. everybody. <laughs> I don't Total. know if you know that. Totally. Um, so it was a Taylor Swift concert, the Reputation Stadium tour, and I was emceeing on a bus, as one does, and there was just a, a group of people over me, and then all of a sudden I see this little, little girl come over to us, and it was Paige. Yeah, I went over, and I it was I think it was Kiss 108, right, that yeah. you were there with? And... um. I went up to you and I had my guitar and I was with my mom and I was like, hey, um, do you think I could sing a couple songs and do like a sing along or something just to like get people involved and whatever? And he was like, yeah, sure. Like that's kind of like not typical, but yeah, okay. Like, I guess that'd be cool. And um, so I was like in front of the in front of the bus, um, st- did a couple songs and it was um, really fun. It was, uh, and it was really okay. Fun. You made it seem like it wasn't like there was like over 100 people singing along yeah. to like 22 every <laughs> right. single and Taylor Swift it was Swift like song. we were doing like the popular Taylor Swift songs yeah. and it was like a lot of people and I play out like I've been to every Taylor Swift concert ever weird flex <laughs> weird flex <laughs> no, but I, honestly, I love she, her yeah, and um awesome. I've done like stuff like that before but it was never like quite that like many people and then the next day because I had to go to more than one night of the same concert. Of course, you're a diehard. Naturally. <laughs> um, I, same thing. I wasn't with my mom the second day. I was with two of my girlfriends. And, uh-oh. Um, uh-oh. <laughs> so I, I was, like, down in, like, the line area for uh, the floor where people were, like, waiting in line. And got the guitar out again. Started it. Started my own group this time. Didn't, didn't. Didn't need my help. <laughs> didn't need your help. And there were so many people like that was like ridiculous. That's probably the most like people who were so involved. And, um, you came over with a camera and you were like, Oh my God. And I was like, Oh my God. Because it was the same person. It was so weird. But yeah. And then I definitely used like your clout and I got that on our Instagram. I know. I know. And uh, Taylor nation retweeted that stuff. There you go. Right. It was was awesome. So obviously you said you're a big fan of Taylor Swift. Mm -hmm. Is she like how, is she the reason you're into country? Because you're from New England. So how did you get into country music? Honestly, yeah. Really? Because I, before then, like my parents are super like rock alternative mm-hmm. kind of pop people and not country at all. They weren't <laughs> until I started listening to Taylor Swift and singing country. My dad was like, oh my God, like this is so, this is so weird. Like this is so like <laughs> hick and like <laughs> OG Taylor down Swift southern. Hick Taylor and Swift. like he started listening to country and I was listening to it I think it was like eight or something I don't know listening to country music in my room because I thought it made me more like Taylor Swift then I started writing music and I was like oh well the only thing I really know is Taylor Swift so <laughs> might as well just try to do it like that and um the first couple couple songs sounded like a Taylor Swift song <laughs> just with worse lyrics and um it kind of just like grew from there so you so. started eight like, like probably like nine or ten that's crazy but like i know i just wanted to be here so bad <laughs> so from there i mean you obviously got more into country music i'm, I'm guessing who are who are some of your other favorites um right now casey musgraves is my top i love her love her so much she's so i feel like she's my spirit animal honestly <laughs> she's she's just so like everything she posts I, I just love her i need to meet her i'm very envious of you of meeting yeah her. yeah i was at the um casey musgraves concert when Paige was there and i got to go backstage and mm-hmm. meet her but Yep. It's okay, next time. Next yeah, time. maybe next time. But uh, uh, yeah, Maren Morris, I love too. Um, her new song, so great. So so empowering, love that. Um, and who else? Carrie Underwood. Who <laughs> else? Lot, Miranda Lambert. Female... All the girls, really, more than anything. Um, yeah, no, I and mean, Chris Stapleton rocks oh, too. There you go. It, it's hard <laughs> like for, for women in country to get the mainstream attention. Have you felt like kind of adversity at being a woman growing into the industry? Oh, yeah, it's... It's hard. It really is. And the more I read about it, the more frustrating it gets because not being down in Nashville, it's it's definitely harder to see firsthand how like yeah. the industry treats girls in general. But um like every time I read something cuz there's always something new. Um mm-hmm. it's just so like I'm like, "Oh my 
my God, why am I even doing this? Because it's not even worth it because they're just not even going to take it. But I'm doing it anyway. And there so. you go. You just got to <laughs> fight the man. Yep, fight the man. <laughs> so, I mean, with that, what kind of lyrical content do your songs cover, would you say? Kind of a range, honestly. I, they've definitely grown with me. Um, but the first one I, I released, I think it was in 2016, and um, that was like, I was so proud of that. I was writing that high for like a year or something. Um, and then released another couple songs, um, just as singles. Or I think just one, um, maybe the year or six months or something after that. And then recently, I think it was April of last year, I released another one. And most of them have been kind of about boys, naturally. <laughs> but the second one actually was about like an issue I had with a girl in high school and how she was being so mean to me and all these things. And I was like, girl, you're crazy. <laughs> and so the title of that song is called insane. And, um, it was just like, basically it's things that I experience, but I also write about things that happen to other people because for some reason I'm somebody who people just tell everything to. Yeah, I, <laughs> and I'm I like, that. I don't mind. I'm like, yes, please give me this information because it's <laughs> fueling my songwriting You're you don't even teller. know yeah. like i love it so um a lot a lot of the things that i've been writing recently because my life has been kind of boring um <laughs> it's good has been other people's other people, definitely. um things but yeah so you said your singles one of those made it to boston radio actually a couple of yeah them. i was gonna say not one um but uh i yeah 1017 um and country 102.5 played them um and what was that like Honestly, the first time I, I was like, is this really happening? <laughs> <laughs> I, there's like a video, I think, of me, um, like, I was in my family room with my family, and it was on like the big stereo in my house, because naturally, right? Yeah. And um, we had it so loud, and it was like people that I had known, it was like a backyard country thing yeah. um, that 1017 does, and people, friends I have through music um, were played like before. And then there was, I, they played my song and I was like sitting there crying. <laughs> I had like tears literally streaming down my face. I couldn't even breathe. It was awesome. No, I mean, I, just from working there, I know it's, it's not easy to get on the backyard country. No, it's, no, it takes it's a not. lot and you need to be really good. So you should be proud of yourself. Thank you. Thank you. But, but that being said, I heard that you're going to play a few songs for us. I one am, of them is yes. an original, yeah? Yep. And it doesn't a have a one. name. No, it's so <laughs> new. It doesn't have a name yet. So, so. what is that about? Um... Mm, I, it's kind <laughs> of about so a lot of the songs the first song I released it's called better um and it's kind of about being friends with like a guy or whatever and then you're like he starts dating somebody else and you're like yeah but like I'm better <laughs> yeah like it would be better if we were together um and then the second one obviously I said was about that girl and then the third one was kind of about when you get out of a relationship and you're like all right I'm over this like I just don't need to take a break and then you meet somebody and you're like okay I guess I'm not taking a break anymore and that's called carousel um but this one's kind of about it's a little bit more mature it's a little bit okay. less like whimsical and like not really dream like as quite as dreamy you know what I mean and it's just nice it's like a nice song about like a relationship and like kind of falling in love and okay. nothing I can relate to but <laughs> <laughs> but you're a storyteller right, like you said right, so you're telling so. the story <laughs> well maybe some of the viewers of this can help you come up with a title in the comments I, yeah that would be great actually awesome. so before I leave you and you can perform I find it super interesting that you're like you're pretty established in music at just 18 but you're majoring in neuroscience yeah so <laughs> what's your end goal? Like, do you want to be a singing surgeon or what's the yeah, deal? Yeah, I mean, naturally, if all the stars aligned and everything that I ever wanted would work out, I would be a touring musician and be either opening for people or headlining my own tour. Um, and then, I guess, go back to school after that. But, like, I'm going to school for I'm pre, pre-PA, pre-med, and um haven't really decided That's yet so impressive and I just like I'm like why didn't I go to school for music it'd be so much more fun but I also I love being in the hospital yeah. and um kind of I just always want to help people and I feel like music is just like an emotionally um supportive whatever therapy yeah definitely. um well, obviously medicine is a help, helping <laughs> people way, too I mean, whatever so I was like whatever I'll pick I'll, yeah. whatever works out at least I can you can't guarantee anything with music because mm -hmm. it's just like right place, right time yeah. type of thing, obviously, and talent and whatever else. But <laughs> <I guess>. um, <laughs> like if I work hard with pre-med or whatever, 
I'm going to get it. You know I, I mean, I it's think not like right up path. to chance. So definitely whatever. But yeah, <laughs> I think you're on the right path. I mean, you've had songs on the radio. You're 18. <laughs> you're trying. kind of doing Thank the you. best of everything that you can. Thank be. you. So, so be proud Tell of that. Tell that to my mom. <laughs> <laughs> well, give me your number. after this. <laughs> um, all right. Well, thank you for talking with me. You were my first artist that I got to interview. I know. I'm so um, honored. Thank you. So with that being said, let's let's get you to play some music for us. Yes. All great. Right. Thank you. Here is Paige Davis. Jumped off the plane It was pouring Couldn't tell you where I came from There's something about the way You said my name Like the morning haze Of a night we can't remember So we stayed inside all day Yeah, lights out in the city where the people are so small It told me I was pretty Under the lights of the music hall Now I can't help dreaming Of the music in my head It came to me while we were sleeping in your bed The lights, the sparks, the slow guitars The colors that burn red Peace of me that night through the music in my head. Friday night, hand in mine, running down the hallways through the no trespassing sun. Fell so light, burned too bright. Kept finding myself drowning in the color of your eyes. Yeah, lights out in the city. The people are so small. You told me I was pretty. Said you'd catch me if I fall. And now I can't help dreaming of the music in my head. Came to me while we were sleeping in your bed. Lies, the sparks, the slow guitars, the colors that burn red. Think I found a piece of me that night through the music in my head. Everything I thought I knew but never understood Holds a brand new meaning to the night, the light, the good Never thought I'd be someone who'd give it all up to Anyone but me, but now, baby, all I see is you And now I can't help dreaming of the music in my to me while we were sleeping in your bed With eyes as far as the slow guitars The colors that burn red Think I found a piece of me that night Through the music in my head All right, so that was my new song that doesn't have a title yet. Um, so if you have any title suggestions, leave them in the comments below, please. Made all the help I can get. Um, but this next one by my girl Casey Musgraves. If you ain't got two kids by 21, you're probably gonna die alone. At least that's what tradition told you 
And it don't matter if you don't believe Come Sunday morning, you best be there in the front row Like you're supposed to Same hurt in every heart Same trailer, different part His mama's hooked on Mary Kay Brothers hooked on Mary Jane And daddy's hooked on Mary two doors down Mary, Mary, Clark and Trary We get bored so we get married And just like this we settle in this town On this broken Mary go round and round and round we go where it stops nobody knows and it ain't slowing down this Mary go round We think that the first time's good enough so we hold on to high school love See we won't end up like our parents Tiny little boxes in a row Ain't what you want, it's what you know Just happy in the shoes you're wearing Same checks we're always cashing To buy a little more distraction Mama's hooked on Mary Kay Brother's hooked on Mary Jane And Daddy's hooked on Mary two doors down Mary, Mary, Clark and Trary We get bored so we get married And just like dust we settle in this town On this broken Mary go round and round and round we go where it stops nobody knows and it ain't slowing down this merry go round Mary Mary Clark and Trary we're so bored until we're buried but just like us we settle in this town on this broken merry-go-round Merry-go-round Jack and Jill went up the hill Jack burned out on booze and pills And Mary had a little lamb Mary just don't give a damn no Okay, so uh, this song is by my boyfriend. Just kidding. I wish he was my boyfriend. This is by Five Seconds of Summer. And um, my favorite is Luke Hemmings. That's the one I was referring to as my, boy my boyfriend. Um, so if, if you're watching this, if you know what I'm saying. Um, but this is why to me. <laughs> I saw you looking brand new overnight Now I caught you looking to what you didn't look twice You look happy Oh, oh, oh. You look happy Oh, oh, oh. Flashing back to New York City Changing flights so you'd stay with me Remember thinking that I got this right Now I wish we never met Cause you're too hard to forget While I'm cleaning up your mess I know you're taking off her dress and I know that you don't But if I ask you if you love me Hope you lie, 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 lie to me It's 3 a.m. and the moonlight's testing me And 
Know that you've been holding on someone else And now I can't sleep I ain't happy Oh, oh, oh. I ain't too happy Ooh, ooh, ooh. Flashing back to New York City I was done, but you undid me Classic me to run when it feels right now I wish we never met Cause you were too hard to forget While he's taking off my dress I know she's laying on your chest And I know that you don't But if I ask you if you love me Hope you lie, 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 lie to me Singing Oh my, that was amazing, Paige. Thank, Thank you, you so much. That that original song, are you going to record that anytime soon? Um, Hopefully, if I can either figure out how to do production on my own or get enough money from a job to get somebody to record it for me. Maybe we'll like start a Kickstarter and all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if anyone wants to reach out, she'll, she'll leave her Venmo. Um, but in addition to that, where can the people find you on social media, Spotify, all that? Um, I'm under Paige Davis Music on everything. Um, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, which I don't really use, um, and Paige Davis on Apple Music, iTunes, Spotify, Google Play, kind of everything, YouTube, so. There you go. Very accessible. Her songs are going to be added to my playlist, Songs Brennan's Bumping, on Spotify. Thanks again so much, Paige, for coming and hanging out with us. Thank you for having me. Thanks. It's great. Miss the days when we were crazy Love drunk and a little bit lazy Getting high off all of the maybe Baby, scared stupid about coming home late Pray to God that we'd end up great Thinking we could actually control our fate Yeah, yeah